this ship is weird, but I think perhaps you'll kind of like it. I'm Farrister, and in this video I review the Star Citizen ship, the Opopa Kartu Al, the Xi'an Scout. Star Citizen is currently in alpha testing with the Kartu Al as one of the flyable ships. The Scout is a solo ship described as a light fighter. For those of you who've seen other ship reviews on this channel, you'll recognise the usual format for this video. This review is split into five sections, starting with a ship tour, assessing combat performance, reviewing handling and visibility, looking at the operating costs before finally summarising. I've included timestamps in the video description to help navigate to each part of the review, and if you're one of the 80% of people watching who isn't yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to be notified of future videos. Part 1. Ship Tour And with only the cockpit as the internal space, there's not much to go for for the ship tour. Entry into the cockpit is by approaching the glass bubble at the front on the left or port side. This rotates down what I'd like to call a ladder, which allows entry into the cockpit itself. Part 2. Combat Performance Your car to owl comes armed with two size 3 Panther repeaters on gimbals. And that's it. No missiles, no fancy turrets. You can swap out the size 3 gimbals for a fixed size 4 weapon, which depending on your flight style could work out quite well for you for the extra firepower. It's fairly easy to get rounds on target, especially with the assistance of the gimbals. Time to kill opponents is a little longer than some of the other light fighters, such as the Gladius, but is okay given that this is a light fighter. Pushing up to size 4, should you choose to, does help to give the Kartu Al a little more stopping power for beefier targets. Defensively, the Xi'an Scout packs two size 1 shield generators. They're okay for size 1 generators, but generally the name of the game seems to be to avoid being hit, especially because this ship becomes very difficult to control if you lose any of the thrusters. Part 3. Handling and Visibility Being in, essentially, a glass bubble, as you might expect, visibility in the Cartual is really second to none. Your vision is largely unobstructed out to the sides and below, with only a sliver of metal blocking view above. Things change a little when it rotates into landing gear mode, but visibility is not likely to be a challenge in this ship. Instead, most of the challenge will be getting used to the very unusual flight model. To be clear, this is a highly manoeuvrable ship, but not in the conventional way. Instead, the thrusters seem to just fire full burn in whatever direction you point them. That has the effect of making the car to owl potentially quite jittery, but once you get used to it, it really is something else. The car to owl has a high top speed, but is a little slower to break. As the pilot, you'll want to be aware that the ship has a long tail, which means you'll have to fly slightly high to avoid collisions, or simply rotate and fly sideways instead. In the glorious vacuum, the Cartual is really at home. Once you start to introduce gravity and atmospheres, things do slow down a little, but it's still a manoeuvrable ship, sometimes even beyond space combat manoeuvring safety speeds. The stock quantum drive is slow, but comes with a very cool alien effect, and moreover has a very good range for a light fighter. Part 4. Operating Costs The car to owl is very cheap to operate, with minuscule refuelling costs. But with no cargo storage or internal storage, your money-making options are a little more limited, primarily towards combat contracts. Thankfully, the car to owl is comfortable with the majority of those, which will net you a profit. You'll want to be a little more careful with the claim jumper contracts, as the Cartuel doesn't respond well to high caliber gunfire. Although the Xi'an Scout can consume quite a lot of hydrogen fuel if you're pulling a lot of manoeuvres, it does come with a fuel scoop, which reduces your reliance on fuel stops. Part 5. The Verdict 
So, starting with some of the miscellaneous other comments, the cartuel has a weird assortment of sounds that it makes. And whilst that's quite cool and unique, it's not always the most helpful or intuitive. For example, to know that you're being targeted. And sometimes you might find yourself a little disoriented when toggling between flight and gear down modes. But this is a ship that is by design a little alien, a little different, and it certainly achieves that. If you're looking for something unique, it's a really interesting option. So that brings us to explore price. The Cartual comes in at $170 when it's available, or for 2.2 million Alpha UEC in-game. That's really expensive for light fighters, and pitches the Cartual against the likes of the Sabre or Super Hornet. It's also on the expensive side for a ship with no internal space which only does combat, even if it does a fairly good job at that. And that's the rub with the Cartual. It's a very capable light fighter, it's really unique, and it's fantastic to fly. But I couldn't justify the pledge price, even though it's limited sale, because you could get a lot more for your money, or spend a lot less and buy your car to owl in-game. If you found this review helpful, you may also be interested in my review of the Super Hornet Dual Seater Fighter. Please also subscribe if you'd like to see future Star Citizen content. Outside of that, if you're looking for a group who plays Star Citizen regularly, I've included a link to my organisation in the video description. Thank you for watching.